welcome, 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 welcome to our love from Aquarius. My Aquarius is my little water barrier. It's my little water baby. Okay, I'm going to start saying the first half of November and the last half of November considering for a mid, mid-month reading, considering I'm doing my raw love bi-weekly. Um, I do want to tell you the reason why I did um, the brief how the other half feels about you is because I want this reading to be strictly about my Aquarius, strictly up on my zodiac, um, where we need to be, where our focus needs to be, where we need to go, okay, that type of thing. And then my normal raw loves will be back, but I think, you know, we're wrapping up the year pretty quickly, so we need to know exactly where we're at and where we need to go. Um, I will tell you, when I was channeling, I kind of felt like self-love is key right here. Um, I do know your ruling planet is um, Uranus, so that can be a little tricky, especially if it's, you know, depending on where your Scorp is and Scorp's here, okay? Um, I also know what Mars right now, um, you're going to feel more of like a warrior. Um, Astrology-wise, from the 8th to the 16th, you're going to feel like um, you're going into battle, Um if you're a little bit of a rebel, okay, so don't get too cocky, um, just be careful, okay, it's okay to be a rebel, all right, but, um, just be careful, okay, um, I know what Sag, what Jupiter here, what Sag being the ruling planet, um, I believe it's your 11th house, which is friendships, okay, um, Anything that has to do with marketing, anything you value right now, okay, is going to take play within the next couple weeks, which is a great time um, to experience this, especially with, with Sag being here, okay, it's, it's, it's that new adventure, it's pushing you through, um, it's like, yay, I'm a warrior, like, I can do this, you know, um, but you're going to have to be a little bit of a, a rebel, but, but don't. Don't let that overpower the compassion that you guys have, okay? Um, that sensitivity that I know you carry, all right? So, um, trying to think that was all I really wanted to bring up. So, to me, self-love is important, okay? Self-awareness, you know, going after your values, okay? Your values, I know that sounded funny. What's important to you? That's also what's important to you. <clears throat> if you're going to market something, market it. All right? Take care of you. It's okay to be feisty. But in the right way. All right, my little water berry is my aqua babies. What's my core issue? Oh, I'm gonna, I forgot to tell you, okay? I'm going to do um, the rose spread. So it's going to be your core issue, your past feelings or your attitude, how you approach something, um, your past actions, your advice, your, your current feelings or your present um, situation, where you're heading and the future, a bright outlook in the next couple weeks or November itself, okay? So let's find out what your core issue is. Um, and it's important that your core issues in these next couple of weeks are being met, okay? Or you're going to find yourself in a place where you're going to be battling yourself, okay? And battling the universe if your, your core issue is not being met. So whatever you value, persevere, okay? <clears throat> that went right in there. Woo-wee! You got the Ten of Swords. This is a completion, okay? This is, you just let go of the anxiety, the worry. You let go of being stabbed in the back. Um, you're yeah, not too happy right now, though. Um, I With this Ten of Swords, I, I feel like you're pissed off. You're tired of being in a certain situation, you know, stormy water, not seeing the horizon, feeling like you've just been hanging in limbo for a very long time. Um I don't know if your hands have been going numb lately, you know, it's just, it's your energy, it's all good, all right, well, I can't say it's all good, because it's not the greatest energy right now, but your core issue is the Ten of Swords, you know, it's it's pushing through and getting to the, the Ace of Swords, starting over, starting fresh, 
this definitely tells me that your core issues have not been being met. You haven't been going after what it is you value. You need to value yourself. You need to respect yourself. You need to take care of yourself. You need to love yourself. You need to go after your desires. Person, place, thing, any type of situationship that you are finding yourself in right this moment. Okay? Like, that just fell out of my hands. Okay? Let it go. That's the issue. You're not letting go of something. Let it go. You're at your 10th. It's a completion. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. What is that? What what tune is that? Frozen. Go be Elsa. Okay. Go watch a Disney movie. Go watch it. Okay. Let that sensitivity back. Let it shine. Okay. Your core issue. And I knew I knew that was huge for you these next couple weeks. It's not being met. Your happiness is not being met. But you're not seeking. Please go seek. Um, I'm feeling seagulls. I'm not seeing seagulls. You know, seabirds. I'm not really sure why. Okay. Um, your past attitude or your past feelings. Past attitude, past feelings. All right, it's the page of wands, okay? It's it's not you going on the adventure. Your past attitude, I see a sly fox right here trying to get away with things. Um, I also see marigolds, okay? Marigolds, marigolds are, I believe it's a marigold. It looks like one. You know, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the dead. It's, it's connecting with the dead. So I think you're spiritual, spiritual, but manipulating spirituality the day of the dead though the day of the dead leave it in the past leave this feeling in the past persevere be a rebel who cares what somebody else thinks those never go just standing out to me huge i believe it's called the day of the dead okay action was not being taken action towards your past but not your future not being in the present moment, okay? Um, so this is how you felt. It's like you wanted to take initiative. You wanted to go on a new adventure. You wanted to persevere. But because your core issue is not being met because you're not going after your desires and your passions, you know, the, the sneakiness, the sly, being sly, overpowered who you are okay so past actions all right the eight of cups so walking away from something okay um i don't know if you walked away because you were confused if you walked away from your happy if you walked away because you weren't happy but to me with this particular card um it's it's you know it's jesus somebody thinking they're jesus or something you know and it's like, you know, to me, this is saying you're walking away from being slick. And, and now going towards you're happy because this is the past. But presently, we're still not meeting our core issue. We're still not going after our desire, our passion, whether it's work, love, any type of situation ship. Okay, so your best advice right now would be, what would their best advice be? Balancing out all the energy. You have temperance. Okay, sometimes it speaks about reconciliation. Um, but this is balancing out energies. Um, I see some snakes down there. I, I see a bloody mess of confusion. I see heartache, okay, I'm going to read this for you, but it is temperance, so it talks about balancing out your emotions right now, okay, balancing out your situation, because right now you're not, you're at your 10, you're comfortably at your 10, 
you're not happy being at your 10, but you're still there, okay? So, all right, temperance, okay? It teaches us to take over in our own time of searching for the right answer. She shows us a calm, balanced life that will help us achieve our new goals. The bright blue eye opens as she watches the red wine poured from the chalice to another. Energy explodes around the explodes around the eye. The triangle vibrates behind it. The triangle represents balance, equality, and structure. Finding the balance between the energy is necessary between your life and feeling overwhelming right now. The flow of liquid symbolizes the flow of energy from one part of life to another, as well as the task of being completed. Okay. Um, the third eye can be only be opened once you have calmed down and, and certain the, the static that is around you. Take the necessary, necessary, necessary time to focus on your goals in your life and where you want to be. Despite of the chaos and the noise that you feel trapped within, it is possible to find peace. Look for the noise and maintain a steady hand and pour your energy into finding more balance in your life. So right now, this is what I'm saying. This is why you want to take this warrior energy. You want to take this energy of being the rebel. You want to push through because your core issues are not being met. And it did say something about... Um, it said something about something which made me think of the Day of the Dead, which is these marigolds that I just noticed. And the marigold, it's just a, a, a thin veil between, you know, the spirit world and the human world, okay? Um, that's why I think you were trying to manipulate some type of spirituality. But it says, energy explodes. It's just life is overwhelming right now, okay? Um feeling trapped, finding peace, achieving your goals, going for that answer. Because you're not, you don't have very calming energy right now. Symbolizes the new flow of life into another. That, that does speak of the veil, okay? Um, there's something very spiritual going on here. I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm not quite sure if you are manipulating it or not, being sly. But regardless, that was the past. And your best advice right now is to balance out all aspects of your life and to think about things in a very calming manner. Not this icky demeanor. Not this. Okay. You are water barriers. Maybe there's something, something has to do with seabirds with you.